Hello, so in this tutorial we're going to be making the terrific terrarium and this one is going to measure three by two and you can make this in any size you want. Just get creative with how many frames that you want. But for this one, you're going to be needing 16 of these frames here. So this is the die here to make these frames here. And we also have a square one as well. So you can make different sizes and this one is really good if you wanted to make a cold frame which there will be examples on the show for you to see. So I'm going to need be needing 16 of these so let's get started. I have most of these already done. So this project is perfect for A5 cardstock and you'll be needing the small die cutting machine for this one and there are some longer strips that you are going to be needing to cut so you will be needing a large format die cutting machine unless you want to get fancy with them um, layering and, and running through twice. Okay, so all we have to do is cut 16 of those. So I will do everything in batches. And just a side note, this is the perfect project if you want um, something to, get, to kind of get your teeth into and to enjoy leisurely and maybe even make in two or three stages. So get all of your die cutting done at the same time and then all your assembly and it will come together probably within a few hours. So depending on how fast you work. So I'm going to use my ruler here just to help me. This has done all of the score lines for me for the frame. So they are quite thin. So a ruler, especially one with a beveled edge here, that it goes, it slopes downwards. That will really help um, to get your score lines put in. And I would definitely recommend going for 250 to 300 GSM for this for this project. It will be sturdy once everything's put together but it just adds that little bit of extra um, niceness to it I think. So get everything folded up. Okay, so you're going to be needing some acetate now. So do all of your cutting for your acetate at the same time as well. It's just gonna speed everything up if you do it all in batches. So this measures three and three eighths by four and seven eighths. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue that right in the center. So I'm going to use some Cosmic Shimmer. You can use red tape if you have enough of that. You'll be needing quite a bit, but a word of caution for using the glue, be very careful not to smoosh this around and move it around once you've got the glue in place because it can really um, kind of show on the acetate. Okay, so I'm gonna start with these two side edges first with the shorter sides with these flaps on. Those are the sides I'm going to be popping in first and then the sides of the slanted edges are going to go in last. So I'm not going to put any glue on these side edges just yet. So on the last flap that's on the, the outermost section I'm going to add my glue there and then I'm just going to roll it up and then hold that in place. And then while that's drying, I'm gonna add glue to here.
Okay, so now you have your frame there. You can set that aside just to dry fully. And now, just to help me, I'm going to use my scoreboard here just to help me line up all of my, th my frames just to get those glued together. So you can use a glue gun for this. I'm just going to stick with my wet glue here. And what this um, scoreboard is going to do is, is it's going to help us line everything up squarely as we glue everything together. So I'm going to be doing a three by uh, three by two. So I'm just going to add glue all across here. Okay, so I have my two sets of two and my four sets of three. So now we can start assembling. So we are going to add, we're gonna carry on using this scoreboard just to help us get the right right angles. And just a, a quick note, the, um, the side panels here go on the inside. They don't pop on on the outside. They pop on on the inside as the extra joining strips and ridge poles are the length of three of the windows. So we're gonna add some glue just along here. And you can choose which side um, you would like the frames to be on the outside like this with the, the details or this side on the outside. I'm going to choose the, um, the flat side to go on the inside. Okay, so this is pretty much dry now and I've just trimmed out two pieces of cardstock and I've glued them together. So let's give you some measurements. So these measure seven and three quarters by 10 and five eighths, but just measure your own one just to make sure that you have the right size. Okay, and that is going to glue onto the bottom.
Okay, so that is our base done. It's really coming together now. You can literally leave it like that if you wanted an open topped frame. So now we're going to make the roof. Okay, so to help us keep the structure of our roof together as we put it together, you need to cut out two of these triangles and they have these little flaps here and we need to reinforce those with some acetate. So what the easiest thing to do is to glue your triangle onto your acetate and then cut that out. Okay, so we're going to add this now onto this section here. So we want this point here to that point there. And there is a little bit of a gap there. That's fine. That's supposed to be there. So let's get that glued on. And then we can do exactly the same to the other side. Okay, so I have a ridge pole here. I'll just pop the footage in on how to make that. And now this one will fit straight into the top section just like so. So add some glue. Okay, and so to finish off the bottom section, we have the other die. So we have the two dies here. So we have the other die here with the equal sections. That's going to make a different angled version. So let's get that put on. So these get glued on just like so, so that it is flush with the rest of the roof. And it will, all the angles should fit in at the ends just like that.
Okay, so that is the lid section done. Everything is now dried off. So I'm now ready to connect these two together. So I have here two hinges that I've cut using this die here. I've used the same cardstock as well. So I'm just folding these up and then using my bone folder. Okay, so we're going to glue these hinges on either side. Okay, and to finish off the front, I'm going to take another one of these ridge poles from the top here. I have one here already. I'm going to glue that onto there just to make that look nice. So we're only going to add glue to this section here on the lid. Okay, and there we have our greenhouse all finished and ready for our plants. So let's pop some succulents in there.